This is it. But no sign of the professor. I hope he's here and that he doesn't mind us disturbing him. He is a senior necromancer. I, I don't... Oh! oh. Guests were stuck for hours. Poor souls. Oh. Professor Emmerich Volkaren of the Morn Watch. Hello, Professor. Uh, we've never met, well, in person, but I I I've been writing to you. Bellara, my dear girl, what a pleasure. Surely you didn't come all this way just to see me. Um, actually, we did. You see, we need a fade expert. <clears throat> I'm Rook. Charmed. I thought you were in dead for a second. Most Morn Watchers are just as alive as you or I. Most? I'd be pleased to continue our conversation after I tend to some small business here. I must investigate. Would you two mind accompanying me further into the shrouded halls? Toward that screaming? Something's gone awry in this part of the necropolis, Rook. The dead stir more easily than they should. seen anything like this. of us something's moving strange these halls should be under the protection of the bell is that a despair demon fascinating isn't it they shouldn't be able to breach the shrouded halls at all take your word for it It's fine. 
vital we discover why that spirit manifested here. Lead the way, Professor. Someone's barred the door and chained the sunken star. There's undead here. We may need to defend ourselves, depending on their condition. Haven't fought undead in a while. There's no reaching these. They're mindless. What are they doing? Make them stop! I'm afraid sometimes the weaker dead work themselves into frenzies, poor things. Must free that bell. Need some help? Thank you. The star, the bell, can banish these despair spirits if we unchain it. We'll need a wisp to unseal the doors leading out. Could you please find one and bring it here? Okay. How? Give your greetings and the wisp will follow. Hello. Wisps are the simplest of spirits, but quite helpful. Bring the wisp here, and we can unseal the doors.
doors open. Where to now? This should lead us to the upper chambers, where we can free the bell. There's someone I'd like to consult with on the way. So, oh, Professor. Just Emma, please. You weren't that surprised we need a fade expert. The spirits talk. Even the simplest have been clamoring about chaos in the fade. Someone coming to consult wasn't an if, so much as a when. a wisp.
It's freezing. What's doing this? Echoes of the despair spirits. Misery devouring itself. We should keep our distance. If provoked, these manifestations will shatter. This is locked too, and I didn't see any wisps around. Then I shall call for aid. They've answered. We'll need to guide the wisps. They've just arrived to the door. Those wisps really came just because you asked. They care for us, Rook. Our ever loyal friends amongst the dead.
He is our second wisp. Strange. This door shouldn't be here. Shouldn't it? The necropolis rearranges itself every so often. There's the last wisp. Good. Let's return to the door. Done. Past these chambers, we'll find some assistance with reaching the bell. Despair is far more pervasive than I'd thought. We must stop who's ever drawing these spirits here, Rook. You think a person's behind? Find all the despair demons. Oh, yes. Mortals are their prime attraction.
How do we get rid of all these despair demons? Their source is near the bell you saw earlier. Ringing it will banish them, but we must find who look. Heard them there in the first place. Yes. I spent most of my life in Antiva. Am I correct in guessing you're one of the crows? At your service. You must tell me about your journeys once we're above ground. we are. This is where we'll learn who summoned these despair spirits. But how? You must open yourself to possibilities while in the necropolis. Would you mind lighting those braziers, Rook? This should unseal our final pass to the bell. It's best we unchain it quickly. Why is this bell so important? The sunken... 
star will drive away despair. Any malicious spirit that hears the tolling of the bell will be banished to the Fae. But it won't destroy them? Them being here isn't their fault. No. In this instance, banishment will suffice. Though, forgive me, I have the impression our denizens unnerved you. I'm from Ravane. Spirits are okay. So long as they're not walking corpses around. the body and we'll begin. By seal and flame, who brought despair in our midst? <sighs> despair? Who brought it here? The Venatori. Uh, of course. This way, please. What did you just do? The colloquial term is corpse whispering, a gift that manifested with my magic. Corpses talk to you? <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, there's no danger in it, I assure you. That's not the messed up part. Shh. I think I hear someone. This map is useless. We wasted three slaves in those traps. If that hand of glory burns down, so don't go. Found those Venatori. They have no place in these halls. Come on. after gold artifacts raw magic their first boys were obsessed with gathering power for some new masters ah oh, i'll fill you in on them later
One more despair demon. That's the last of them. I see someone by the crates. I don't think they're Venatori. Hello? Did the Venatori bring you here? They said... They said I'd spilled the wine too many times. That I'd be a better sacrifice than slave. You are in Navarra, sir. There are no slaves on our soil. Please remain here. After we've seen to the rest of the Venatori, I'll send for someone to escort you above. Oh, all, all right. Those Venatori dragged that man down here just to die. The Watchers will shelter him. We'll inquire if he has any family in Minrathus. As for the Venatori, what remains of them will be put to work. The Sunken Star can help us if we break the Venatori's chains. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Be ready. The ritual to wake the bell will draw despair's attention. And any more venatori. I'll need you to keep them occupied while I work.
The despair demon's pissed off. Pretty impressive. Thank you, but come. Let's ensure these cultists didn't leave anything dangerous behind. I'll ask our attendants to gather their bodies later, of course. And this is a severed hand. It can't be. A hand of glory? The Venatori should never have this. I must find out where it came from. Let me know when you'd like to return to the chambers above. Let me take one last look around. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. You can tell me why you've sought out a Fade expert on the way? I know it's a lot, but I swear we've seen the blighted elven gods ourselves. It would explain recent Oniric disruptions. At the least. The implications of what Rooks witnessed are... Ah, thank you, Manfred. No one ever brings me tea after a slog through a haunted crypt. My assistant, Manfred. Always thoughtful. You spoke of danger to the Fade. The Elven Gods plan to tear it wide open to get to the Blight. And they've already messed with it. Demons, tears in reality. Our team needs a Fade Expert. Many Watchers never depart Navara. But with events so dire... I... I'd be delighted to assist. It has been many years since you left us. Well, yes, but elven gods, ancient magics... I couldn't bear miss this. Besides, I've spent my life exploring the Fade and speaking to spirits. If Rook needs an expert, none are better qualified than I. Only if your assistant's coming. Manfred? But of course. Welcome aboard. Wonderful. I'll gather my things. Come, Manfred. <laughs> The Grand Necropolis was at peace again, and Emmerich was off to a new adventure. But in Navarra, nothing stays down for long. The Venatori had unearthed something no one should have, and delivered it to the worst possible person. Emmerich's journey would soon bring him face to face with the gloaming lantern. <laughs> What the Venatori ultimately intended with their incursions into the Necropolis worries me. Whether or not it was directed by the gods, the timing serves them well. Chaos, I fear, is their ally. With this, Demeta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. They want a war? We'll damn well give them one. You need an army to fight a war, though. They've got two. 
The Venatori and Antom wasted no time allying themselves with the gods. Power at any cost. So how do we fight back then? We don't have an army, but we do have allies. Like the Veil Jumpers. After Demeter's crossing, it's personal for them. The Shadow Dragons? Particularly after we helped save their city. A debt the Viper will repay soon. Also, Lady Morrigan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Could she have found some trace of the gods? Probably. Morrigan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosburg wetlands. Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the Blight there. I bet it involves the gods. The First Warden didn't seem impressed the last time we met. <laughs> I heard he told you to piss up a rope. Will he be in the wetlands? I don't keep track. But he can't stop you from asking a few questions, if we're fast enough. Any details on the Blight in the wetlands? Antoine said he didn't write it down. Why not? Either he didn't trust someone else wouldn't read the note, or he didn't want us to panic. Gillinane has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the Blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking Blight than Wardens. Morrigan and those Wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods, or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. In their power and wrath, at least. Lucanus, you're back. I am. A couple of new people have joined the team since you've been gone. This is Professor Emmerich Volkarin, he's our Fade expert, and Tosh, our Dragon Hunter. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. So, a Dragon Hunter. Treviso could have used you. What's happening there? Hmm. It's just... People blame you for what happened to Treviso, Rook. But they did not have to make that choice, knowing what the gods are capable of. There was no recall. Still, it changes things. How could it not? But you're back with us. Yes, here to stay. Good to have you back, whatever the circumstances. Everyone needs to be part of this. That's the only way we'll win. After what they did to Treviso, I want these gods to fall. I don't see anyone else with a better chance than you. My blade's yours, until the end. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morrigan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town called Lavendel. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. I don't think it ever should be easy. As soon as it gets easy, you're not the right person to make those decisions. It needs to be hard. That's how you know you're taking it seriously. And that's why I recruited you, Rook. You get that. Not everyone does. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morrigan to attend. And dealing with whatever the Wardens found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. Good work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it.
can't do this without a wisp. So, Tosh, the dragon hunter of this outfit. Yep. And you do monsters. No, it's not. I handle dragons. You kill monsters. third edition of the unnameable elements? I didn't even know it had editions. Oh, it's much improved with the index. Uh, please, borrow it if you'd like. I'd love to. Oh, Rook, you probably wanted to say hi. Thanks, Professor. You look moved in. Just a few essentials. Manfred was a great help with the boxes. <laughs> what a fascinating place this lighthouse is. What do you make of it? Early on, it mostly felt empty. But it's gotten more homey with each new person. For all its grandeur, the lighthouse does seem meant for company. Did you get the tour yet? Oh, I've been exploring, but... I noticed a few of the others taken aback by Manfred, and I overheard remarks about my skulls. My necromancy won't cause any undue worry, will it? We'll be fighting weirder stuff than necromancy. Ah, oh, that's the hope. <laughs> uh, please excuse me, Manfred and I should finish our inventory. Thank you for stopping by. By the way, Rook, before I left, Myrna and Vorgoth asked if we could assist with an outbreak of hauntings across Thedas. They also mentioned displaced wisps in the necropolis. I'm not sure what's frightened them, but it bears investigation. Hauntings and scared wisps? Let's look into it. Thank you. We'll depart for the necropolis whenever you're ready.
Can't do this without a wisp. Stored. <laughs> 